Welcome to Overwatch. I love the point. I enjoy the point too much. Welcome to Overwatch. Welcome to another episode of Coaching the Many. This one might be a bit quicker than normal. Uh, and it's about Brigitte, everyone's favorite hero, who's getting changed. I kind of like the changes. I still think she doesn't heal quite as much as she needs to. There we go. Okay, we've got sound. Good. Uh, let's take a look at our team as we leave the spawn. What we should always do 100% of the time, check our team as we leave spawn. Hey, we've got 2-2-2. Two, two, two. Good start. Uh, that's going to be mandatory soon because, hey, roll queue's on its way. Uh, Anna Brig, like, I will say it now and then try not to repeat it later, which is that I dislike Brig in duo healing comps. Anna Brig or Moira Brig, I think, is like the only way you can get around it. Because the Anna and the Moira can do enough healing to make up for the lack with Brig, but you've got to find value elsewhere. You've got to bully tanks, you've got to kill things, you've got to play the Brig aggressively and make sure that you are getting that healing out and taking part in combat. We're not going to look at the enemy team comp just yet, because you wouldn't realistically be able to see it in-game yet, so we can't say, oh yes, you should just do this, because, well, you won't see it yet. First things first, actually. So normally when I'm coaching support, I'll say like, oh, you should let your main tanks go first. The logic still kind of applies here, uh, that you should the tanks should be leading the charge, but as Brig, you can actually just lead the charge. Um, because you have that 600 hit point barrier, you won't be able to once the patch goes live, once the roll queue patch goes live, don't do this anymore. But because you have effectively um, 850 hit points, you can actually lead from the front. Just the, if you got to be careful, and what I would suggest if you are in front, is when you go through the gateway that's in front of us here, just put your barrier up for a second in case there's a Widowmaker. Like in case there's a Widow up here, just when you go through this door, barrier up for a moment. The Yana should definitely not be leading. Oh, we even get notes. Oh, there's editing. There's editing. Okay, the Ariza being AFK. It's harder for me to see the outlines, but let's see. Yeah, we, we seem to be lacking Ariza. That's terrifying. That changes a lot about how we want to play this. Like, we want to be conservative as hell. We even get notes here. So there's one important thing... I like the editing. Oh, I love I love the we got some spicy editing. The only thing I'd say here is like, yeah, we protect the tour, but I'd like to, to see us go for a, a whip shot just to try fish for it. Maybe get the rally ticking over just for that little bit of extra healing. Like especially here, we don't need to have the barrier up constantly. If it's a soldier and a Moira, they're not going to blow us up. So we can just fire the whip shot. If it hits, we get healing. If it doesn't hit, we don't get healing. So on a low enough cooldown that we can kind of throw it out willy nilly. I do think we're playing this very aggressively, considering the Orisa has gone, but hey, she's back now. Let me push them out. I'd love to bash your soldier, but there's three DPS here. And like this, this is where it's like, you know, if you can't assist in these situations, then why play Brig? Uh, okay. I think you could have got away with it there. And the reason why I think you could have got away with it there is your barrier is still pretty healthy. You've taken a little bit of damage, but you'd start healing up. The Junkrat's looking like this way, I think. He's just sort of standing there. Yeah, he's looking that way, spamming to the, towards the point. I think you could just run out, hit the soldier, and then like run towards your team. And I think you'd be okay with the barrier you've got there. As long as everyone doesn't turn and focus you, you should be okay. And you'd definitely kill the soldier. There's not much you can do about it. Seem indecisive, but we spot he needs help. Okay, we go help him. Almost kill ourselves. This point it's just like a matter of, okay, well we need to know that Doomfist um, can kill him. Like, we can see his hit points, maybe we couldn't in-game actually. Yeah, actually I imagine we can't in-game, like in an actual game of Overwatch, because we haven't done damage to him, we won't get a view on his hit points, so okay, fair enough. Ooh, don't like this choice. You are doing it right the first time. Like. The Moira here, yeah, we get out. Like, we have five hit points, we know we're in danger. That bubble bounces one split second wrong, we're gonna die. There is a large health pack this way, but there's no safety that way. If the soldier didn't kill us, the Moira would. You get him, Anna. You frig him up, Anna. Yee, they took the point as well. 
Here's the thing, like you mentioned it earlier, that I, perhaps I followed the Doomfist too far. I actually don't think you did follow the Doomfist too far. I think you followed the Doomfist okay. Um, you are fine doing that. Because if you're standing with like the Hog Reese Torbjorn, you aren't doing much. Like you wouldn't be able to do anything. So you kind of want to be with the team. I... That, yeah, this, that's a bold statement. <laughs> I love the sass. <laughs> um, yeah. Never assume that the armor has it under control. The reason why is because Torp's steroid makes him very dangerous. You can also see that the Ana's taking a bunch of damage. Like, it's not a huge amount, but she is sort of yellowish, which means, hey, she's in danger. Just go and confirm the kill. Like, it is a big part of your job if you are playing Brigitte to act as babysitter for the Ana. Um, this has already been controlled on the front line as well. Like, the Roadhogs push them out. Torb's even coming towards you. Just go for it, confirm the kill, and then what you can do, you don't even need to use the shield bash, you could use it for movement, but even then you just come back here and you just control the Reinhardt. Like, your job is to, to slow the Reinhardt down at this corner, if you're going to play this. You can whip shot him back, and then you can stun him if he tries to do anything, you can stun him if he tries to charge. You have many options to, like, mess with this Reinhardt, and you could always just hit him as well to just trigger your healing passive. Basically, what you want to do when you move into this area, this signifies to me, I want to control all of this space. All of this space. And if you get rid of the Torb nice and quickly, and like Whipshot would do it here as well. Just throwing a Whipshot out at him. It's your ranged option. It would have dealt with him. Back up, back up, back up. You are the team's sole healer. Gotta get the heal out faster. There we go. We are definitely not whipshotting enough for my happiness. I just want us to pay attention to... Alright, this is going to be a good demonstration of this. Um, don't look at the screen. Don't look at me. Even though I'm fascinating to look at, no doubt I am. The handsomest boy you've ever seen. I want you just to look at this. I'm going to put a big old circle around it. Okay? It looks a bit like an apple. Let's look at all the use we're getting out of this ability on a very short cooldown. Triggers our healing, disrupts the enemy team. And and it's, it's... It's still off cooldown. It's still... Have, have we illustrated the point? Barrier down, I should have backed out. You can do more! You can do more! When the barrier is down, yeah, you back up. When the barrier is even low, you just use the Orisa barrier, recharge it. But you can stop them coming into you. Like, one of the big powers of playing Brigitte is that whip shot. That ability to knock enemies back. If they want to push down through here, into your Orisa, they have a hog to contend with, they have a Orisa to contend with, and then even when they get close, you just launch them back out, and they're back to square one. Use it. Use it. It's a very important ability. It's very good. It keeps your healing ticking over, it knocks people away, it's a good power. It's a very, very good ability. Don't worry, Josh, when I was growing up, my mother told me I had a face for Radio 2, one only a mother could love. It's weird, because your mother was very complimentary of my face. Uh, right. That's what you get, you little shit. You think you can insult me? You think you can come into my stream? Okay, we have Rally. We have control of the point. I assume Soldier will push the point. You assume Wisdom. Tunnel Vision cancelling Soldier and failed to counter the charge. Okay. Tactical Visor is one of these ultimates that you could very, very easily counter with Rally. Like, when he does this, you are 100% okay to press Q and activate Rally. The reason being is armor does decent stuff to soldiers DPS. I mean, it's still like a 20 damage shot and it's 20 uh, damage per shot. So 20 damage, 20 damage per shot. This is S for shot. Let's just make it shot so it's not 20 damage per second. Um, armor will reduce that down to 17. That's still a decent amount. And also not counting all of the extra healing on top of it. Sure, it's not as broken as it was before. They've patched that out. But it will be of use. It'll also mean you have better movement speed. So you can actually catch him if you want to. 
Um, there's there's no reason not to. Rally is an ultimate that you can fire out very, very aggressively and greedily. And being honest, you wouldn't be able to counter the charge because the enemy team did a very good job here of putting a bubble onto the Reinhardt. Reinhardt, I'd say that this is an over-engage from the Reinhardt, but hey. Getting a sorted face, but slapping him makes him back out. Honestly, at that moment, you just rally, you run at him, you stun him, and you hold left mouse button, and you'll probably kill him. <laughs> and he won't be able to do a damn thing. Good. Okay, we're still contesting. Don't rally this, you're probably gonna die. No! Wasted panic rally, yep. Rally will not stop Riptire. Um, facts of life. The moment you hear that fire in the hole, you mentally check out. You just go, well, I'm gonna die. Uh, there's nothing you can do about it. At all. If they didn't have that ultimate, maybe you could get away with the rally. Maybe you could, but once that goes off, it's a no. Hello, Twitch Carly. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to all Still doing Guess My SR? Hey, thank you, Ray of Light, as well. Very I'm much appreciated. 29 I'm months. Only with shield gives you a small chance to force the tire to roll around you. Yeah, it's a very small chance, though. Most of the time, it'll just go over you. Team's grouping up. You guys still have Rally to push with? Hmm. Hmm. Is... Yeah, that's, that's behind us and to the left. This is why it's important when you're playing Overwatch. Try not, like, a little bit of music's fine if it's very quiet, but always make sure the sound is loud enough that you can hear and understand what's going on around you. It's a cheeky Torbolt. He gets punished for it, at least. Okay, Anna. That's an odd choice. Not what I would have done. I would have gone for the Doomfist, but... Oh, what a nade. Okay, we're back. This is a disaster. I, You've got to fight it because... You're behind, but... Like, you're about to... Lose the point. You've got to just try it. Yeah. Like, there's, there's not much you can do at that moment. Okay. Better map for Brig, uh, I will say, this one. Sightlines are a lot smaller. Leaving the point and you guys have Ash Symmetra. I mean, if you guys get to the point quickly, you can just win, I think. Where's the teleporter? Yeah, don't worry about that. Don't. If the sim... Yeah, I've done... I've had that experience myself where like a sim leaves spawn and just throws a telly out and what's really annoying is sometimes you'll find it, you'll use it and you'll teleport backwards. I've, I've learned to just like, no, I'm not, I'm not gonna bother. WCGW, I imagine that's where could this go wrong? I'm missing a T. What could go wrong? Let's get your armor pack on him, full value. So, I will state this much at the gate. I am not a Brig player, okay? I am not a Brig player. But my first thought when I am playing Brig is I want to get my healing, my Inspire healing, up and running as soon as possible. So I am just looking for shit to whip shot. And when I see moments like this, it's like bury down, whip shot out, trying to land that onto something. It'll be even easier with the patch coming up, but it is very important that you get that healing out because if you depend purely on the repair pack, uh, let's Google it, Brig Repair Pack, uh, da -da -da, Repair Pack Ability, it provides 150 healing per pack and has a 5 sec cooldown, I remember figuring this out a while ago, and that concludes 
don't do math on stream, but I believe it's about 30 heal per second. Uh, if you if you mass it out. 30 heal per second. That is not a lot of healing. So if you aren't getting that Inspire regularly and you think about your actual healing output, it's it's tough. But yeah, this is the win condition for your team. Again, whip shot, whip shot, whip shot, whip shot, whip! Like, this, this should be like, oh, this is the juice. This is what you want to see. Mmm. Oh, yes, this is mmm, delicious. Oh, God, look, he can go all the way over there. Oh, he'll go off the edge. You kill him instantly. Everyone would celebrate and and go, well, Brig, you got him. Nice. Good catch on that one. Yeah, you want to control those corners. Like, 100%. That, these are your corners. Have you used Whipshot once this game? I'd be curious to check. We might even be able to check afterwards because it's not the long... Actually, no, it's 20 minutes. That Rodog is a bit of a death wish, but... Should be fine. There's nothing you can do for that Roadhog. That Ash needs to get back to you. Good job on spotting it out. Just, yeah, this these are instances where, like... Once we've done this, our options are kind of limited. Don't worry about using your barrier. Just use your Reese's barrier. Make sure yours is up as much as possible. Because, yeah, if the Torb does stuff like this, you want to be ready and waiting for it. So just throw out the health pack, cycle back in, and then look for things approaching and get ready to whip shot stuff. Getting a cheeky melee hit is also good. Like, you want them to come here. Whip shot. Press shift. Good catch. Junkrat kills everyone, but still good catch. Oh, God, the sim. Ugh, God, the sim's being a gimmicky little son of a gun. Oh, look, I can put them all up here. And then they all just run to the point and kill you anyway. It's, don't, don't do that if you're sim. Don't. Please. Please, no. Just put them around the doors. Ooh. Okay, Ash. Ash has gone a bit nuts. I just, I just noticed that soldiers ulted, and then you look at this surreal situation where you have a soldier 76 with his ult active shooting at Bob. <laughs> oh no. Ah, oh, it's two, two literal aim bots just firing at each other. Jump in the portal, yeah, and Sim puts the turrets with you. There we go. Honestly, like getting you on the point is is grand. Like the Sim solves a big problem for us, which is getting near the enemy. Whip, whip him, whip him, whip him, whip him, whip him, please. Oof. <laughs> yep, good job, Anna. You should heal her up. Heal, heal up! Do not be afraid to overheal. Like, you see straight away, oh, she's on half hit points. Just put her, like, throw out the repair pack. It is very essential that the Anna gets healed. Because um, if the Anna dies, your team has nothing. Like, they're so vulnerable. And so by the time we react to it here, it's just, like, don't be afraid of overheal with Brig. Don't think about, it, like, efficiency in terms of, like, sure, if they're missing, like, 10 hit points, then don't use Repair Pack. But if they're missing about 100, then absolutely go for it. Because anything over will just be... Hey! And that was the Orisa. Like, whip shot. Whip, whip shot. Heal this Orisa. Nice. It's all alt charge in the bank. You should put a barrier down. Drop your barrier. There we go. Drop your barrier. Just drop your barrier. There is no point in keeping it up at this moment. Like, I know we're scared of him shooting through above, but... It's very unlikely that he'll kill us. And yeah, we need to recharge this. We need that 500 hit points back. We were asking for that. Um, because we just stood still. We stood still somewhere not safe, somewhere away from the barrier. Like, we, we think we're safe here, but just look at the sight line. Like, he's, he's got it. You know he's spamming the point. And this isn't like, oh, I just said to put it, put the barrier down. It's put the barrier down and stand at the back of the point where he's not going to be able to hit you with anything. Stay behind the Orisa barrier. Stay safe. It's very unlikely you die there. Oh, 
And once it's back up to 500 hit points, you can start bringing the barrier back up. It's just making sure you have that 500. Nice attempt, Sim. Okay, they retake the point. You guys let them. That's honestly fine if you can get some kills. Uh, hang out waiting for a regroup and or peel for Ana without overextending. That's fine. Like, half your team's gone one way, half the team's gone the other. It's a bit dicey at the moment, but you're not going to do much on your own. Now that the Aris is here, we can start worrying about this. Use Rally. It's a good signal for your team to engage. Stick with the Orisa. Come on. Uh, yep. No. It makes me it makes me sad every time we don't use this whip shot. It makes me very sad. I'm going to hop onto it every single time because it's Oh, wait. I call Rally at the center over a voice a few seconds ago. I'm not sure anyone reacted to it. Say la vie. You can also go get the health pack behind the point, that's also an option. But like when you see like people set up like this and you've got Rally with that extra movement speed, you can easily just get around here, whip shot, Ryan's dead. Like you want them fighting in these locations. The door was scary, and yeah, we end up cornered. That's rough. This team fight is lost. Hopefully your team realizes. The Pokemon's going for it. Ash, Ash is going to 1v6 here. Oh, doesn't quite get that one. There she goes. Anna and Hog were definitely focusing junk at this point and never heard them on comms. They're playing very independent games. Like, they are just doing what they want. Team 1 wins. Okay, I'm, I'm just going to focus on this for now, because, like, first of all, chat, uh, just just let me know, guess guess the SR, please. I, I want to hear some guesses. In general, I'm, I'm fascinated to hear your guesses. Can you use your best to get back quicker? In theory, yes, uh, you can use it, it's fine. 2.1, this is definitely gold, 2.15, so we've got some 2.1s, we've got just gold. 2.3, 2.2, 2.1 to 2.2, high silver, 1800, 2245, that's fascinating to me chat, that's fascinating to me. So... I don't have the exact number, it might be revealed at the end, uh, but it is bronze. It, this, is, this is bronze. There are, there are many telltale signs that this is bronze. People not using abilities, how this Ana moves, for example, how people move and turn and look um, is, is very telling to me. Like when something's flanking, they tend to like stop and then turn and then try and figure out the movements don't look fluid, they don't look what I would call like comfortable. Um, there's a lot of like very individual play people aren't really playing as a team they're playing as just like little collections of individuals nothing's really coming together as a, a synergized strategy um chat thinks i'm platinum this guy's gold yeah chat chat is way off like i, I knew it was bronze but watching this like i i knew kind of what to expect because i've seen bronze footage before um so i kind of know the hallmarks and this i will say this much this is not as bad as some of the bronze footage i've seen um, like people are at least moving towards the objective and fighting around the objective. The last bronze game I think I saw you just have people roaming around at random. Like you have moments like this, and you just see like this soldier seventy six just running around over here, like treating it like it's a complete random deathmatch. This seemed a bit more organized. Yeah, it's uh, let's say like high bronze, low silver. If I had to like put a SR on it, and it's like moments like this one, moments where you just have like the honor, especially like how the honor moves to me is very telling. 
It, it feels like she isn't comfortable moving and shooting. Like, the amount of times you see, like, the Soldier 76 stand still and things like that as well. First thing. First big, big actionable thing that we can do to improve our gameplay. Nine billion fold. Use Whip Shop. I don't think we use it once. Um, it, it's a very important button in our kit, right? It's It's vital and... The explanation why is very, very simple. Like, how do we activate our healing as Brigitte? Well, we have to use Whipshot to activate that healing. Like, it's our only option at range. If everyone stood together and the enemy team is at range, well, Whipshot is our way of activating that healing nice and early. Then we can get in and get some melee hits. Like, at this moment, if you have that Whipshot hit first, then at least the pulse of healing goes off. Everyone's going to get some healing and they're going to feel a lot safer for it. Whereas if we're just waiting until we can melee people, there's going to be a lot of times when we're just not getting any healing output. And that's that's rough because our job is as a support. That logic absolutely applies to the, the changed Brigitte as well. I'd say like there are, there are some interesting things. Like our instinct here to help the Doomfist isn't actually a bad one, is what I'd say. Like in terms of what we can actually realistically do with this team, like we're not going to be much good with like the Orisa and stuff. You know, if we stay with the Orisa Hog, then we're just going to be standing there awkwardly. So I actually think helping this Doomfist and, like, pressuring this down is fine. And, like, we can even provide support to him. And honestly, Brig Doomfist is going to be really powerful uh, post-buff with Brig's changes coming in. I think you underestimate, like, how tanky you are and how vulnerable he is. Brigitte can do, I think it's 130 now. I think it was nerfed slightly. It's 130 or 140 burst damage. Uh, I do believe... Which is, it's a lot. Like, if you hit Bash, hit Whip Shot, it's, it's a lot of damage. It's actually a big meaty whack, and there's not much people can do about it. Um, a good example is if you go and play Free For All, and you see an enemy Brig. Like, when the enemy Brig's hitting you, and you're playing something like Soldier, you feel so helpless. There's, like, no way you can win. Um, so, yeah. And uh, Whip Shot is clear to boot people off the map. Yeah, 100%. Like... Honestly, it, it really, like, you say that almost as a joke, but I'm actually going to use the overheads here. Like, when you're fighting on the point, uh, let's see, are the colors correct? It looks like the colors are kind of weird, but hey. Uh, so yeah, weather team in blue. Like, when you have these moments where we're on the point, and actually just using this map, just using this map, right, we have like Sim, Hog, Risa, we want to be on the point. Like, 100% we want to be on the point, that's where we're going to live. If they try and come across these pathways and you can just hit them with a whip shot, you instantly kill someone. They cannot take that pathway. By eliminating those pathways, well, they can only come in on the front here. They can only push in through those doors. So all Sim has to do is put turrets like here, here, and here. Hog Rita only have to care about those doors. Because otherwise they're just going to lose someone every single time. As long as you're just waiting for that push, it's it's dead easy. Um, and if they do want to run in, well, they're running into your stun, they're running into your hits, they're running into the hook, they're running into the Roadhog in general. It's just bad for them. So that's that's kind of what we want to do here. And you just want to make sure, like, stuff like this soldier coming over here, like, he should be terrified to do that movement. I guarantee you, especially in bronze, people will not think about this kind of stuff. Where they will just think, oh, well, I can just run around here and avoid the Orisa. And if you just cover whatever side they're attacking from and just be ready to knock people out, you either will just boot them away, which is just good. You activate your Inspire, you get everyone some healing. Um, it's all good. Or you knock him off and you kill him. And once the Soldier 76 is dead, well, they're pushing with a lot less power. And that'll be just good for you guys. So for the new Ryan who just laughs as Whipshot nudges him, it's still worth doing. It's still worth hitting him with it to activate that Inspire. Like, it's 100% worthwhile. It's a low cooldown. Spam it out. Make use of it. Get some good stuff. I'm just trying to think of, like, what else. Like, what else is very easy to implement in action as, as a player? Uh, let, me, let me check the email as well, because... I'm trying to get... Ah, I remember. Um, just something very, very important early on. Like, the learning moment of, hey, I think I think the Anna's got this. Oh, the Anna don't got this. Uh, it might be a little bit too early. I think that's the first push. I think we've already gone past it, but it's, it's an easy learning point of, like, if people are running into your backline... Yeah, there we go. This is what we want. 
Like, this is your job. This is where Brigitte excels. It's when people are, like, running through the lines and getting into the back line. This is what you live for. When they try and do fancy stuff past their tanks out on their own, even though it looks like the under's got this, even though it looks like the under has it under control, it can go so wrong for her in an instant because Torb can just, like, right-click once and one-shot her. If, she, if he gets a bit lucky, he can land some headshots. He can do all sorts of very annoying things. And I didn't mention this in the, the video because, well... You wanted to do the guess my SR, but if you are in bronze, I would lean towards the side of they don't got this. Um, on like both sides, like if any rank is going to have a mechanical failure in terms of the Arno just misses the shots and doesn't kill him, or if the Torbjorn, like if you are on the Torb side and somehow you're here and you think, oh, the Torb's got the Arno, the Torb can miss all the shots as well. Brigitte is very safe in terms of, oh, I can finish this person off. All I have to do is close the distance. You can use your stun to do it if you really want. You could try and whip shot him, run into him and just left click him. Honestly, if I was in this position, I would just use the stun to cross here as fast as possible and just try and kill him. Uh, well, first I'd try and whip shot him and then I'll probably use the stun to finish him off if necessary. Just to like cross the distance faster, hit him, and then I'll go back to deal with the Reinhardt uh, and like just left click him a bunch, make him uncomfortable. Because if you're in bronze, yeah, like, if it can, and like this extends to silver, this extends, I say, even to like gold. If you suspect it can go wrong, it can go wrong. And then it's just moments like this one as well. Like, do not be afraid. I know as Brig, you feel kind of safe with your own barrier. When it starts dropping very low, do not be afraid to use your tank's barriers. Um, just make sure you can use them. Recharge this up, because when you have that barrier charged up, you are really strong and difficult to deal with. You have, like, so much safety, especially if they don't have, like, a McCree or something to flash you. You are going to be so safe. You're going to be really, really safe. So when your barrier is low, retreat behind the tanks, recharge it up, get ready to go, and then you can start um, moving around. Murphy's Law, it's kind of Murphy's Law, and that if it can go wrong, it will go wrong. But, you know, if it's going to go wrong anywhere, it's bronze. Like, if this was Masters... You could probably be confident that, yeah, the Anna's like, if she's landed the grenade and she's a decent distance away and she has like advantages, like she goes in and she's uh, almost full hit points. He's on like two hit points. First and foremost, I'd say a Master's Anna would not just run into him like this because that's just asking for a juicy right click to kill you. Um, an Anna just wouldn't be in this position. Tor wouldn't really be in that position either, but like even then, it can go wrong. Snipers at close range are always going to be a bit iffy. I've missed shots like that. Appreciate your Sigma joke on Twitter. Damn straight. Got a lot of interactions on that one. It was a good one. Otherwise, yeah, that's going to be it from me for today. Thank you for coming and hanging out. Thank you for submitting the footage, especially um, bronze footage. Like, I know that it's difficult. I know it can feel embarrassing to submit footage like this, to submit very low-level footage, because, you know, everyone in Twitch chat is only, oh, well, I'm, you know, oh, I'm in gold. Well, I can talk down to you. If you're submitting footage, you want to get better. That's all that matters to me. Um, that's that's a hundred percent all that really matters, and hopefully that's all that matters to you guys. Uh, I will giggle occasionally if I see something very silly, but as we saw earlier on today, I was giggling at a player who has a higher SR than mine because he walked into a dragon and he owns up to it. He's still here. Um, he, chat's been ribbing him nonstop, and I've been mentioning it nonstop. But it's a good example of everyone fucks up, everyone makes mistakes. If you are new to FPS games and you want to improve at them coaching vod review all of that is a really good way of doing it watching your replays back and watching other players um play as well and like how it looks for them to play and then how it looks for you to play is also another good way of doing it so thank you for submitting the footage uh otherwise if you do want to submit your own footage please do so i have a little bit more to go through but i'll be doing some tomorrow i think because i missed out on yesterday's stream um and we don't have any probing to do this week so hey uh, I, I can do more coaching uh, if you do want to submit footage, it's in the description below. It's in Twitch chat right now as well. If you are watching on Twitch, send it to oamreviews at gmail.com. You can not include your SR if you want, and we can do it guess my SR style. Just make sure that I can find it somewhere. Uh, I actually might check the end of this video just to see if there is an SR reveal. Um, I imagine there might not be. Yeah. I, I also I appreciate the um, the comments on this one, actually. It was kind of nicely done. I think this works better where you've gone and edited the video and like put little comments inside it than rather than trying to type them out in the replay like another viewer tried. Um, if you are willing to do this, then that's great. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching, guys. It's been my pleasure. Thank you, those of you who supported the stream as always. 
very much appreciated. Let me just find who did. Ray of Light, Clank as well for the dono. Um, F Kettle DK, um, Actively Aggression, Vague Raptor, Chaos Incarnate for the tier 3 sub, 33 months. Thank you so much for those. Missile Mage for the gifted sub, Zulu Charlie, Comrade Hand Soap, uh, Builder of Salts, Gohan, Trick to TC, uh, Tricks to TC as well. Thank you so much, guys, for the support. Matters a lot to me. And yeah, it's really good. Any idea for people with lower spec PCs? Record it at 30 FPS. Yes. Uh, 30 FPS is fine. Like what matters more is the bit rate. If you can, the higher you can get on the bit rate, the better. I'd say like try and aim for a minimum of six, um, six thousand. Like I'm gonna say six K, but six thousand K B P S. It's kind of the minimum you want. That's what I stream at is six thousand, um, and that's kind of viewable. If you can't record at that uh, at sixty, then record it at thirty FPS. It takes a, like reducing the number of frames is a massive burden reducer. Also, seven twenty P is fine. Um, seven twenty P also will massively reduce the load. So, in my mind, you can sacrifice frame rate. You can sacrifice um, whatever this is called resolution, and then at last, sacrifice bit rate. Go in that order. Trust me. You want it to look smooth more than anything. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time. I'll see you tomorrow, 7 o'clock. Be there or be square. Bye! Where's my outro? Where's the music? Start it over again. There we go. Good stuff. See you soon.